Alright, here we go. Alright. Damn, get it at 0.5 so it zooms out. You ready? Ah, pedals. Kelly's nice. Yeah. There's a Mesa boogie like Steve has yeah. down here. They got a triple pickup Les Paul Custom, white that turned yellow, that looks good. Yeah, no price on that one. Mexican Strat, 600. That's 1650, that's not Mexican. Back there. Oh, the one back there, yeah. Yeah, 1650, that's American, yeah, see that one. Gibson amp, 650. It's got a warehouse speaker in it. There's a, a deluxe, or not a deluxe, uh, yeah, twin. I wonder if you can get your tubes here that you need. You know what tubes you need? What? They've got all kinds of tubes. You know what tubes you need? Yeah, I do, but I'll look around a little bit. I know, I tried pointing it out to you and you were ignoring me, so. I was looking at stuff. You're, you're going, Tchow. I'm I'm trying to look at stuff. You're well, going down the line. Well, I'm going to look at stuff. I seen it. I tried showing you, and now you, saw it. Now you see it. It's a good price. I liked it. It's a Bronco. Yeah. That's pretty slick. Single pickup. Mm -hmm. 68. They got a nice little melody maker over there, too. They got cards like it's worse for season. You can always pick up a card and call them later. Yeah. 
I know, I've seen that. It's the first thing that caught my eye. It's translucent on the front. Yeah. They sell their pickups too. Sand top airline? Airline, yeah, airline guitar. Seventy-seven. Mm -hmm. I'd love to go home with that one. That's Abby's birthday? Well it's yeah, the year she was popped out. That's showing her age there. But yeah, that's nice. On, Mac. It used to be Olympic white. Yep. Oh, look at this. TV silver. Yeah, I like I like mine where the black comes covers that and this. Yeah. I like this kind of burst better. I don't like that pear shape. See, I like the pear shape. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm gonna jump over to this other table. Oops, excuse me, sir. got the uh, that special edition flame yeah. top. Silver burst, where'd he go? 
Hey. See, they got a, a vintage silver burst custom back there. stuff on this table. You gotta remember to look down and check out the amps too. Yeah. 2200 on that, that's a little steep. So it's a basement? What is this? Bandmaster. It's a 67. Bandmaster? Yeah. Yeah, 67 man. Service ready to go. Oh. What's the price on that? Sweet. Go ahead. No, that's it. I like that 61 reissue. Yeah, I like that one back. There is that. What is that? A lemon burst? Yeah. I don't see the year on there or price. Right, either. The gold top looks nice. Yeah. It's a 2014. It's a good price on it. It's nice pinstriping on this one. Mm -hmm.
That's cool. Yep. That's funky looking. Yeah, it is. It's got a big like yeah. angle on it. I've seen those on YouTube. Rolling GRs, before. yeah. Check this out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, they got some fancy ones in there. Gator alligator. lap steel. Yeah, alligator. <laughs> There are two coal miners, looks like. Yeah, it is. I like the coal miners. That alligator slide is pretty cool. What is that called? Oh, okay. All right. Looks like a couple coal miners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Are you selling something? No, no, no. I bought it. $25. He said it's intermittent. Yep. One thirty-five with Lindy Oops, Fairlane. It's got Lindy Fairlane P nineties in it. That's nice. Twenty-four hundred. And it's got Grover lockers on it. And Lindy Fairlane. Wow. That's badass. See the pickups? Yeah, I seen. Uh, There's some gold uh, covers. Yeah. Let me go with the whole set. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a Epiphone Don Deluxe. All right. Pickup set. So Alan Eco pickups. Alan Eco pickups, huh? Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Alright. They just pull offs. Yeah. We got a whole bunch of builds going on. That's why we're looking at oh, everything. We look at pots and everything. $199 or make offer on this. Pedal? No, the whole amp with the pedal. No way. Yeah. What is it? It's a Stang 100. It's a DSP, Digital Signal Processor amp. Oh, that's probably why. Where's a lefty for people? Yeah. It's happy. This is all lefties over oh, yeah. here. Oh, lefties. Check out that headstock. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. We've got an acoustic left here. Mm -hmm. That's the most lefties I've ever seen anywhere. Yeah. Look at the fenders row backwards. Yeah. See nice that? Fenders written backwards. Yeah. Guess we hit that corner over there. Yep. There's that Paisley pick, yeah. pick guard we were looking at. It's uh, transparent with Paisley yeah. in the back. Yeah. 950, that's not bad. We got the back here. Gibson Lau. Acoustic? Yeah. It's got like a Melody Maker headstock yeah. on it. 
It's an auditorium sized body. Hey, oh, that's Mexican. I was about to say, that's a good deal. Thousand bucks for a 1980 lead, too. That's a good deal. I like that one, too. A bunch of pit guards and stuff over here. Yeah, I seen them. I'm gonna go, when I'm done, I'm going to walk back around. Just... It's kind of hard to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 There's a 4 by 10 like my 2 by 12 It's a good price. Yeah. Lay's got the same thing. Like Look at that. That one's only 900 bucks. Wow. What is it? It's a 4 by 10 It's just like my uh, Deluxe 2 by 12 DeVille. All right. Yeah, see, it's a Blues DeVille. Mine's a Blues DeVille 2 by 12 There was one over there for 450 like yours, a yeah. 212. And yeah, mine's a better one. shape. Neither one of them are reissues either. So you got a 410 and we got a 212 on the other side. Cool. Did you see the old Epiphone? No. It's got a TP6 on it. Yeah. I'm not big on them. them checking for radioactivity. What's that? You're checking for radioactivity? Yep. <laughs> yep. You're glowing over there. What you yeah. doing? <laughs> That's what they are. Nice amp. It's blues. It's 410. 1960 Epiphone 335. That is kick ass. Yeah, so you so can it's cut it to all shape. Of them together. Yeah, I mean they're they're and they're pretty good size. Some of the pieces are pretty good size, so it's just a buck for all of them. Yeah. Do some more airbrush stuff. There's a P90 in a single. That's cool. Can you imagine doing a telly like this? Yeah. I haven't seen one like that. How about a P90 in a single? Well, look at the wood tone. They got flame maple. Sweet. Uh, something that's directly copied. This is nice aged. Look at they got the pole pieces all adjusted. Yep. I had a 50 watt Marshall. These are aged. Didn't sound like a basement to me. These look like they got some brush to them. Yeah. All right, look at this. So we just bought all the new receivers and stuff. Yeah. Here's the XLR. Look at to the plugins. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Uh, Check these out, because this is how I can hook all my speakers up. I don't need regular wires anymore.
SE. Mm -hmm. Not bad for an SE though. Silver Sky. Hey, I might have to buy that. <laughs> It's a Bernie, but if it'd be better if it said by Gibson, but it's not a Orville, it's a Bernie. I think we'd see one of those here. It's a 92. And it's mint. There isn't a scratch on that. Whenever it has a case. It says, uh, where did it say? Fresh no. setup, 10 gauge, great player. It doesn't say anything about a case. It's got a funky trust rod cover on that, but. I'm gonna revisit that one. All kinds of pickups. Yeah, I know. I gotta, I gotta come back through. Which he's retired now, so he has. Like, oh, he check has it more, out. He has more free time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, for the now. amps. These I are mean, for the, first, the tweeds. The first year and a half, he didn't have any because. Excuse me, sir. My mother made a lot of honeydew lists. Yeah, right. A lot of honeydew lists for him. Get it. Fix up. Get and push through. Get it. And loaded pit guards. Got all kinds of goodies in here. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Amp legs. That's sweet. You got you got the. Uh, can't bring everything. You sell stuff online at all? You got a card? Thank you, sir. He sells a lot of cards on like eBay. Okay. Uh, he sells hand wires, hand city wires. I think sometimes on reverb and stuff like that. Or, or, or. Okay. We're doing a quick run through, and then we're gonna be talking to people.
Hey, they got another Blues DeVille. Late, late 70s, yeah. What's the price on it? Nine or 800. It's a 212, the other one's better priced. It was cleaner. I guess I'll finish around the outside before I do the inside. Well, paint job on that one. Flames. There's only there's only like 200 of those made. Really? This has got some upgraded electronics, and then uh, the ones you see are painted are, are black on the back. Wow. Uh, yeah. And this one's completely painted from the factory. I bought this in France. That's how far I had to get it. <laughs> but if you don't know what it is, or you're not. Oh person, yeah, I grew up with these. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'd like to find a 1970 1114-7, yeah. which I had. I actually gave it to my nephew, who still has it. I can't get it out of his hands. Wow. He won't give it up, but I'd like to have it back. I have one of its sister. Yeah, innovations. I was never a big fan of that hard-bodied back, but back in the 60s and 70s, they went nuts over there. Well, yeah, because it's focused the sound. Of, uh, yeah. uh, it's called a parabolic lyrical. Yeah. I had a bunch of ovations back in the day. Yeah. Then I got into doing these Keith Richards knock-on things. Mm -hmm. G2. Yeah. You know, open to me and G. Seymour Duncan's, that's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, it's got fifth up, tuners, plays real nice. Nice. Princeton 65. Good price. 
sell you anything here pretty cheap because he's wanting just to get rid of this side. Yeah, I'm a big single uh, ply pick guard person fan. Oh, okay. That's why I was looking at it. I've got an HSH build I'm doing. And you bet that was an HSH. It's still, that could be a future build, you know? Yeah. For $5, you know? Wow. Yeah, because you can't buy it for that. He just wants to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? All right. Just down here, uh, seeing what I can find. <laughs> Figured we'd run into you guys. What's going on? I didn't even see you sitting there. Hey, is your dad okay? He's right there. Somebody came in and said, I think Chris's dad died. What? I'm quite sure he'd have told me that. Yeah, no. Hey. Yes. Did you know you're dead? Huh? I'm dead? Did you know you're dead? Am I? Some guy came in the shop and he goes, hey, you should have Chris a call. I heard his dad passed away. I said, really? I said, he didn't call me. Who would say that? Is there anybody that recently passed away that you know? Over a year, two years ago. I don't know where it came yeah. from. Yeah, I don't either. I, said, nah, I don't know. And when I told him what I wanted, for hmm. so how are you doing? So right. What are you doing? Selling stuff? Trying. Yeah. Just playing the stuff. All right. Email. All right. Check it out. How's it going? Excuse me, sir. Oh yeah. What am I gonna have to do with all the PR? Back at Lay's again. And they're just kind of like talking. But why would you? Because. Well, this is nice. You got the headstocks. Yeah. It's like the Zach Wild one they did. Yeah. It's hanging at the shop. Straight across it. Straight across 70. Yeah. Yeah, that. You like that one? <laughs> I haven't got to see that one yet. Oh, you haven't seen this one? No, I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, that's yeah, that. a master grade roasted neck. Look at that. Oh, Wait, we got to look at this sparkle, too. Look at this. Yeah, let's you know, sparkle. Everything that glitters is a gold, but this is pretty close. Yeah. And it's got that front. Oh, check out that nice. Like, yeah, so, so I take the, just the clear knobs and I use the same sparkle inside of those. So here's paint them from underneath. So here's the deal. With with the clear pick guard, you totally are able to show it's gorgeous. the whole thing. Yes. Matching, matching neck, the whole thing. What I, what I originally was doing, which it just it was going to take too much time, and I just abandoned it, was take the cloth mm -hmm. and drop it in in the cavity so right. you see it all the way through on the back. This is fine. Yeah. This is fine. That's fine, yeah. It's, just, out, it's just outstanding. Thank you. I appreciate it. And this... This, this is your build, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Everything in here we build. You build the next two from scratch? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's gorgeous. What kind, of, what kind of uh, what kind of finish are you using for this spark up here? Your thing. Yeah. It's not worth using lacquer on stuff like this. If I'm doing something vintage, a replica or a refinish or a restoration piece, you use lacquer. If not, it's it's just not worth it. The, the time that it takes uh, to to do the finish work. Your thing, you can do it in a of the time. Those are the spurgles. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. 
What's, what's the wait on this? about this just screams like uh, incredible. I know I waited, I can't remember, and we didn't put it on there. The but you can feel it. <clears throat> it's not too bad. Oh, no. It's not light, but it's not... About seven pounds, maybe? Let's see if we Nine. can guess. Oh, yeah. That's uh, seven to seven and a half pounds. Yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> not... Uh, not it's bad. Not, certainly not. not yeah. Certainly not a Les Paul. No. I've got a 72 it's Les Paul that weighs about, you know, a, not quite a ton, but it's pretty close. That's gorgeous. It's it wonderful. Is. Thank you. Noisy pickups to, to 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 boot. I think they're noiseless, aren't they? Yep. Those are the Fender noiseless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. They're wonderful. I really like this. It's wonderful. Love it. I like it then, then this telly is a 24 inch scale. It's got one cream tea pickup. Yeah. I think he's making it out of UK or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But that's like a kind of like a Billy Gibbons setup. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're going course. after there. Whenever I first saw this, I thought, oh, wow, this is probably a bead bin. Because at first glance, what does your face do? It looks right at that. Oh. <laughs> and it's a little, you know, it's not, it's a little quite, little off. It's not quite there. But it's pretty close, and I thought, oh, you got a bead bender. Oh, no, this is not. This place is packed. We're so hard to find a bargain space. We are going to do some bead bender bars. Yeah, there's a guy that can bend. And the horse is going to be for you. That's good. Steve investigate. Hopefully it'll slow down a little bit we actually start to look at stuff and <laughs> not being run over and pushed out of the way. Well, yeah. Force is out of the way. He's kind of like me. Alright Joel, I'll be back. Okay, we'll see you later. Yep. We'll see ya. Hey Dan, I'll be back. I'm selling cookies and brownies and pound cakes. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. Okay. We're still I'll going. Be here. We're, we're still getting around. <laughs> okay, I'll be here. Okay. You got a website to go to in case somebody wants one of these? Right there. Groovy leather goods, handcrafted products. Thank you, sir. Check his prices. It's got triple pickups. Wow. A little chaotic in here. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I might as well start the center here. There's a lap steel. Yeah. I could probably learn that laying it down, huh? Wow. That summer's
little crowded down in this corner. I know. I just stopped trying to go and look at something because you get mowed over. So I just back off and says, well, <coughs> I'll, right. later and I'll look at it later. This must be a Chipson. I seen another one back there. $300. Yeah, I said built, but yeah. plays well. Yeah. Uh-oh. Got a deluxe nice. converted. Yeah. 783 Deluxe routed out. This is a pretty decent job. That's a nice P90. Can you see if the sun yeah. is high at all? No, no. We're all good. Okay. I am, yeah. It's a target too. Okay. Well, that is my new tax car. It's going to charge you for your tax one. I'm trying to get 22. And, uh, I'll just run up to his shop a week later. Now, we can get that big thing home. I can bring it to you. Well, I'd be interested about to get back to town or something. Are you guys looking to trade or you want to sell it? I need to sell it. I've got some more stuff now. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, there's a buddy guy for 700 bucks. Yeah, I'll definitely. What's that? That would look cool in the collection. <laughs> That's a Fender too. Yeah. What's the price tag on that one? No price tag. All right, we'll have to come back and talk. Yeah. There's some nice ones. I like all these. Yeah. All right, let's finish this video up. Five hundred bucks for a player. Yeah. Old road worn. That's nice. I like that purple tally. Ninety one. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. No. Five ninety nine on that one. That's not bad. No, I'm in the. No, I'm in the next room. I like Sweet. that it's got the aged. I'll it's take not that. white. I'll take that. What year is it? 2009. It's a 57. Not too bad. It's a player's grade. Yeah. It's got Grover lockers on it. It's yeah. nice and heavy, too. That's not a weight relief. That's yeah. nine pounder. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Got a 50s neck on it. I got similar. Yeah. It's not worth what they want for them. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, it's nostalgia what you're buying. Yeah. Oh, check out the mic. Huh? <coughs> nice mic. 
Yeah. That was nice. He paid that much now. Right? There's another one up here. Old one. Wow. How are you guys? How are All right, you? how you doing? Good. Sweet. We need a large body condenser. <laughs> the condenser mics, huh? Yeah. They're really, they're really nice and clean. You can get, they, they do well with like a small group or an ensemble, you know. Mm -hmm. Just about two or three people, either of those work great for it. Because you can stay a little bit away from it, mm -hmm. but uh, it picks up everything very clearly. We used them for a long time with the bluegrass band I play with. Oh, I gotcha. And uh, they work pretty well for that, but the, one thing they didn't do great was we went to monitors, floor monitors. And then we had a little bit more of an issue with them. So if you're going to do, if you're going to do an amp or your guitar or something like that, you want to use a rhythm mic and then condensers for like more like well, vocal. I mean, I, I don't know. That's one of those things. I'd rather have a good condenser than a bad ribbon. You know, they're they're two kind of the same. So you can use a condenser on either or on the yeah, amp you could use either one. Now I wouldn't I wouldn't mic an amp with either of these. That's what I was probably. asking. No, no, I, I don't know if I'd do that or not. Maybe the Edwina, but. Uh, they're made, if, in my opinion, they're made more for like vocals, acoustic yeah, vocal, instruments, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. I know a lot of people, if they're just trying to mic an amp, will just throw a 57 on it, you know? So, but, uh, no, these are, these are more for a, uh, for a full, uh, fuller sound, I think. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, they, they've been good to us. And we got them marked down a little bit. They could be yours. <laughs> they are neat. They do a good job. Hey, enjoy the show. You too. Thank you. Well, some of them have that middle of them. Some of them don't. Yeah, some of them have. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's pretty much the circle. Now it's time to go shopping. Mm, time to say goodbye and get the mics. Okay.